Hey, what's up guys? It's Daniel here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you five simple ways you can effectively boost your credit score. Having good credit is really important as it can help you secure lower interest rates when you are applying for home loans or car loans. And over the long term, this can save you a significant amount of money. With a high credit score, you will also have access to more lenders as they will be more likely to want to do business with you. This in turn will give you more leverage in who you choose to borrow from and what the terms of the loan might be. So if you find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing as I post new videos each week about personal finance, day trading and general news. Okay, so let's get started. Try to avoid missing payments. So one of the most important things you can do to achieve good credit and to maintain it is to make sure that you pay off your credit as soon as you can and not have any late payments if possible. Now you can set up automatic payments that match the minimum amount due, but just make sure that you actually have the available money in your bank account to cover the payments, as it's best to avoid an overdraft of your bank account. One of the problems with late credit payments is that they can stay on your credit report for over seven years, and this affects your overall credit score. Avoid too many credit inquiries in a short period of time. First of all, there are two different types of credit inquiries, a soft inquiry and a hard inquiry. With a soft inquiry, it is not likely that it will affect your credit score as they are not attached to a specific application for credit. Examples of a soft inquiry would be when you check your own credit, a mortgage loaner checks your credit to pre-approve you for a loan that you haven't submitted a full application for, or you authorize a potential employer to check your credit report. As long as there is not a new application for credit, it will be a soft inquiry. Now a hard inquiry happens when you are applying for a new line of credit, whether that be for a mortgage, auto loan or new credit card. Basically what happens is that a creditor will request to see your credit file so they can determine if you pose a risk as a borrower. Anytime there is a hard inquiry, it will show up in your credit port and it will stay there for up to two years. And lenders will be able to see all of the inquiries that have been made in this time period. It will also negatively affect your credit score in the short term, which is usually a few months. Most inquiries account for about 10% of your credit score, so they are not terrible, but they can add up if you have too many. Understand what your credit utilization is. This is a major factor and has a large influence in determining what your credit score will be. Credit card utilization is relatively easy to understand. For example, if you have a credit limit of say $10,000 and your balance is $3,500, then your credit utilization for the credit card is 35%. It is extremely important to try and keep this number as low as possible and below 30% is desirable. As if it is too high, this can indicate that you may be overextended on your payments and may find it difficult to repay the money that you have borrowed. A few ways to keep this number low are making multiple payments throughout the month. By doing this, you will lower your credit utilization and therefore increase your credit score. This is what I have done with my credit cards for years and my credit score has always been high as a result. If you have more than one credit card, you can make smaller payments on each of them to keep your credit utilization low. And it is also possible to set up balance alerts for your credit card that will notify you if you go past a preset limit. Ask for a higher credit limit. You can also ask your credit card issuer if they will raise your credit card limit. For example, if you were able to increase your credit card limit from $10,000 to $50,000, based on the example I used before, having a $3,500 balance on your account, it would bring your credit utilization down from 35% to just 7%. And this once again will help you achieve a better credit score. But you have to be a little bit cautious when asking to get your credit card limit increased as it can result in a hard inquiry, which can potentially affect your credit report negatively. Become an authorized user. Basically, this is when you ask someone you know, whether it is a relative or friend, if you can be added to one of their credit accounts as an authorized user. First of all, it is important that the person you ask has a good credit history and an account that has been around for quite some time. Now with an authorized user, only the primary account holder is legally responsible for credit card repayments. And as this could be potentially risky for the primary account holder, it is possible for them just to put your name on the account as an authorized user, but not give you a card or the account information. This will still benefit you both. It will protect them from having any unwanted bills to pay, and as long as the primary account holder continues to maintain their high credit score by making payments and keeping their credit utilization low, you will get the benefit of piggybacking off their account and actually building your credit history. One thing to keep in mind with this method is that if the primary account holder suddenly decides not to pay back their credit or their credit utilization becomes very high, this will affect your credit score negatively as well as theirs. Okay, so that's five simple ways you can easily and effectively increase your credit score. If you have any other ideas about how to increase your credit score, please leave a comment in the description below as I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you found this video helpful and as always, please like, share and subscribe.